Wow, I never thought this would happen. A Minecraft video on this channel. But this is mainly what I've been playing uh, the past couple of months. And uh, a couple of people on the Discord channel I hang out uh, started a modded Minecraft server. And uh, I got into it. Since it was years uh, since I last played Minecraft and never really got into the modded side of things. And uh, yeah, I really, really enjoyed it and I still do. And I came uh, over this hill there. There is the spawn point. So it's kind of silly to start building <laughs> right over here. But well, little did I know at that time. I uh, didn't know anything about ore doubling and all of that thing. So. <laughs> This is where they'll begin. I dug a hole here in the hill and uh, kind of liked it here. <laughs> See my first bed, a mining shaft, uh, a couple of furnaces, chest with still stuff in it. Yeah, not sure where that's <laughs> came from. Uh, yeah. And I build a little building here. And the upper half is uh, new. We recently added that with the Botania stuff up there. Uh, what we got here? This is the agricultural side of things. See, all uh, powered by Xnet, all the logic. And there are little uh, cows, chickens, and sheep here. They, yeah, yeah, calm down. <laughs> Little ones get transferred over here, and once they're uh, matured, fully grown, and they get transferred over here. Yeah, you can probably guess what. Oh! <laughs> what happens over here? Uh, this gets imported into the system, and the experience is collected and it's used in the. Uh, mob farm over on the other side there then you got a whole bunch of not even using all uh, channels things get pushed around here this is the uh, greenhouse glass from actually additions let's see what we are currently making here yeah some bell pepper potato carrots and onions and the uh, Weed. This used to be a different system from uh, my refined storage. It's now hooked up here. The uh, network receiver there. And uh, this wasn't here at first <laughs> either. <laughs> I just would go into the, the crate and then grab whatever I needed. Oh, server backup started. And uh, yeah, it's grown into this whole thing here. Why this is a different color, I have no idea. We'll go into the main building later. Ah, it's not that interesting. There isn't much in there anymore. Bunch of bonsai trees that I added to the uh, revelation uh, pack. No? Revelation? Yeah. <laughs> Some bananas, limes, uh, whatnot. Vanilla. Here's more of a Pems harvest craft stuff that I don't really need to automate. Only make food every now and then. So we got here mustard. Oh, that's corn actually. Okay. <laughs> I made a sort of a greenhouse uh, thing here, as you might notice. And I did all the bee stuff in here. That really took a long time. <laughs> I can't even, and this is even with Gendustry, it takes a long time. So I can't imagine what people went through when they used the original mod, the forestry thing. Yeah. So only this thing is going at the moment. That's the one I still use, the oily stuff. Although, no place for the oil to go at the moment. So there you go. Uh, what do we have more? Yeah, we got robust bees, secluded, diligent, 
The idea was to go for the emerald ones, and the uh, because I didn't have many emeralds and or uh, diamond at the time. So when I started this, I thought that would be a good way to do it. But by the time <laughs> I just did this on the well, did this on the side. I usually do many things at once. <laughs> See the genetic imprinter here and the advanced mutatron, all that little bee samples the all the different type of flowers they might need are here as well looks kind of cool though i thought with the rustic uh, things here tomatoes and uh, chili but by the time i got finished with the uh, with the bee thing or finished it's never really finished of course but when i had, had my diamond and uh, emerald bees uh yeah, I had plenty of diamonds and stuff. I also started the Void Ore Miner from uh, Industrial Tech, Environmental Tech, right. And that gave me more diamonds than you could uh, imagine. Also, they give shards, these. And then you have to put them back together in order to get a proper emerald. All kinds of bees here, though. <laughs> <laughs> Diligent. Uh, lapis. Oh, lapis, yeah. That's... Well, we're already swimming in lapis, usually, so... Don't really need it anymore. Water drones were kind of a nuisance to get. Because you can't really, uh... Breed them. So I had to, uh... You have to find them uh, in the wild, so to speak. And that was a... Eh... It's been quite a few hours before I finally find one, found one, I think. But anyway, what is this? You might be wondering. This is a. Uh, this used to be go down as well, and then picked up there. And I thought that was kind of silly. So behind this big block of decorative wood, we have uh, um. I lost my train. Oh, I uh, hooked up the uh, actual additions uh, network thing here with the lasers. <laughs> up to the refined storage. So the... Uh, here's my tree farm. With the forestry mainly. The plant gathering and there's the sawmill from Fermal. Half of them is being... Uh, sewn up <laughs> is being cut up into planks here see and the sawdust is being used as well for gristling goes into the chest and then through the laser network over to the uh, uh thing that you just noticed there in the distance bunch of slime trees as well everybody needs a slime tree <laughs> here's a little mob farm well, it's not that little, because there's also ghosts in here. Need to uh, make this pretty big. This used to be just a small one here, but uh, none of these uh, electrical things just would kill whatever happened to spawn in here. And the experience is being uh, liquefied here in the magma crucible. And it goes into here and it's being collected down in the basement. Nullifier for stuff that I don't need, mainly swords from the wither skeletons. Could actually turn it on for a moment. See, there it goes. <laughs> Ghost. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Even with the muffler, they make a horrible sound. <laughs> oh, it's already gone, probably. Yeah, I can put in an Enderman as well. There's another ghost there. What else do we have? Oh, a lily. Uh, and there are lilies here. I love this machine so much. This is the farmer from actually... I never used this before, but I was looking for one that would actually work with these ender lilies and these uh, I only turn it on every now and then since I'm already swimming in ender pearls but this is so cool 
I love to see them. Watch this. Oh, the sun is going down. There you go. See, they're all going down. <laughs> the farms in a 9x9 nine nine, uh, pattern. So this is uh, exactly 9x9 nine nine here. With the, uh, started out with a couple that I got from the end. And uh, they also drop ender lilies. So I plant a few more every now and then. And then uh, we got a full field here. It's pretty cool. Oh, random, <laughs> random connector there. Yeah, I've been planting all sorts of weird trees that I've found along the way. Like those uh, from uh, the Twilight Forest. Those are from the Botanic Miner. Let's go and sleep because you can't really see that much in the dark. Botania area here on top. And we got a few friends down here. <laughs> I still need to move this. This looks dumb here. This looks used to be the top of the roof. It'd be right here. You can also go down there. Oh, this is the uh, cooking for blockheads kitchen here. You can pick all sorts of recipes from all of that. Stuff that's in the fridge and in the cupboards. Yeah, quite handy. It looks pretty cool too. Need to make this black and white as well, I think. This is the outer wall, so it looks a little silly if I would do that. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you doing? We're going to sleep now. There you go. So this is coming up again. Huh. Huh? I'll build them a house as well soon. Okay, where were we? Oh, we were over here. Where's my hover off again? Yeah, they got this really huge tree. <laughs> Not sure that's the very uh, smart to put it here, but kind of looks cool. The other one as well there. That's a different one though. Makes weird sounds as well. <laughs> uh, this is now the same thing, yeah. All sorts of things going here. This was all desert as well. I planted these. <laughs> I used the builder from RF Tools for uh, mining. Oh, there might still some mobs be spawning down here. Yeah. Let's uh, get our little bow here. And what is this contraption here? You might be wondering. Whoa. Really? Go away. Oh, there's more there. Seems to be stuck. <laughs> This is the uh, wither spawner thing. They're being killed by this draconic evolution uh, mob grinder and they're being held here in this uh, hardened glass case. Uh, it's a FTB thing here, so the mobs can't really uh, hurt the environment. Otherwise we would have to... Uh, I would have to have... Uh, a sturdy case <laughs> to survive all the explosions, but just put in the soul sand and the skeleton scrolls. It's not really automated to the point that it runs all the time. I don't think you want to because the sky gets kind of dark and you get those. Uh, well, yeah. most people that watch this will know that you get those uh, health bars as well. And sometimes it even spawns like free. So, yeah. Don't really want to deal with that all the time, so if I need nether stars, I just throw in a bunch. This is a pretty nice house, at least for me, it's pretty nice. I added a garden now, and I still have to put in a bunch of plants and crops and stuff. And uh, we got some more friends up here, see? Hi there, oh. 
This might work better if I... Every now and then one escapes. That's pretty weird. Hello. See? What do we have here, actually? Shepherd, gym guy, and uh, structural engineer. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. Still need to put some stuff in here. And uh, yeah, I really need to move this. This is, looks totally out of place. I was playing around with Draconic Evolution here. Uh, made a couple of things, like a sword and uh, that, that grinder over there. And uh, this is only like a level two. Oh, yeah, only tier three. Only has 273 million RF. So I don't know if it keeps that if I move it, but it's not going to be a problem because this thing from environmental tech generates a ridiculous amount of... Uh, it's only level 3? I can't really tell. Yeah, 3. three. It's already generating like, yeah, 24,000 RF per tick. <laughs> so... Uh, might move that to the void world that I also have. And there used to be, uh, in case you were wondering what happened here, well, that's the uh, void ore miner. It used to be over here because there's, well, there's every, bedrock is everywhere, <laughs> but I knew that it could easily dig to bedrock over here. My mining shaft used to go there. So, this was one of the first things I set up. One of these used to power my... I only needed to turn on this on to feed this battery here. And it would run the base for days. <laughs> that was pretty fun. The story behind that is that I made this thing, the mining drill. And then I turned out that I needed a... Biodiesel setup in order to use it. It's, I still use the drill, it's pretty good. Nice and fast as well. So then I had to set this up. This used to be over here. And this used to be all uh, kinds of weird wires and stuff. And now we got a pretty XNet setup. Also doing the uh, plastic thing down here. Yeah, don't think we need a whole lot more. <laughs> and the can feed into this one, although I don't think we are using that at the moment. See, this thing makes the seeds, breaks down the melon into seeds, and also does the plastic. And if we ever need any tough fabric, then we can just pull this out and use the hemp to uh, make more. Although, don't have sticks at the moment. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so melons are coming out here. You're going... Uh... It... Oh, there's this <laughs> a secret trip. Door. Why am I carrying eggs, though? I must have picked them up over there. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we got this immersive engineering stuff up here. Love the look of these things, by the way. We got some more random... Uh... Well, there's nothing much going on here. Some flowers and cactuses for the... Some, tr some bees want cactus, cact cacti. So there's that. Some more uh, fem stuff here. Kiwis and stuff you don't really need all that much from. Many. Don't really need all that many. Yeah, you don't really need all that many. And... Oh, this is to burn to... For the plastic, okay. I'm just kind of wondering why this random furnace is here, but... <laughs> oh, we got the power conversion thing. One of those wireless things from Extra Utilities. Uh, would like to clean up all the wires, though, and then only have the lights hook up from the... Uh, little LV, but yeah, that's kind of low on the to-do list, to be honest. Wow, that's annoying, this thing here. Uh, <laughs> Used to be the Botania stuff used to be over here. That's why this weird contraption is still here. I was cooking food here. Yeah, I was. So, oh yeah, they, this is one of the first things I 
made as well the uh, metal press you can do some automatic uh, automated uh, things in here as well it also has a tank which is quite handy you can only have free recipes of course but uh, yeah, materials come in here and then stuff comes out here use that for a while when i didn't have a refined storage system we got our enchantment table here in this weird looking building uh yeah it's already getting to the 20 minute mark so this is all the upstairs stuff this is where i did most of my uh crafting when we started out yeah guys cool down <laughs> i just dumped uh, whatever i needed in here and uh just craft it here works actually pretty well until you start to make more uh, complicated things then it gets a little annoying but and there used to be chests all over the place in here and also inside the building so a refined storage system was badly needed can i get a bit of speed boost here no hmm. yeah maybe a little i don't know of course the tinkering thing smeltery so we've got some slime in here iron whatever you need i'm using that at the moment yeah leggings are quite well, the helmet as well okay oh we haven't looked inside yet the last thing for this episode nice carpet here some old armor that i used to run around in <laughs> Hi there. Oh. Didn't plan on doing that. There you go. The clock. Some chairs. Already saw my friends up here. <laughs> Random crafting table. Yeah. So that's it for this uh, first part. We'll be going uh, underground in the next one. And I hope you uh, enjoyed this little tour. Uh, don't have time to explain a whole lot <laughs> how things work but i assume that people familiar with uh, minecraft recognize most of the stuff around so uh yeah see you in the next one bye bye uh -huh.